We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to The Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Today, we're diving in and we're checking out Ender Lily's Quietus of the Night. It is by Livewire, Ad Globe, and Binary Haze Interactive, releasing originally on June 21st, 2021. I uh, got my hands on it finally, and I am pretty excited to dive in and begin. So let's get started. Big shout out and a thank you to the developers and their PR folk for hooking me up with the game, or with the code for the game, excuse me. Uh, there was a bit of a, a snafu with the way this all went about, so I had to get in touch with them, but eventually they got back to me and everything is, uh, it's, it's all copacetic. It's all good. We're good. Let's do it. Very, uh, very, very good chance I'm going to get slaughtered horribly, but that's okay. Uh, you guys like when I die a lot or fall in holes. Apparently that was a thing for a little bit. I would constantly fall into things. It's great. Or terrible. At last, we meet. Oh yeah? Who are you? I can hardly believe it, yet here you are, alive and well. Can you hear my voice? Actually, no, I can't. I don't say I hurt. Oh, were we just revived? Oh, we're, okay, sure. Apparently we had a bad day. We're just sleeping in this place. You seem to be awake. Yes, yes, yes I do. And none the worse for wear. I mean, I don't think this is really the, the best place to be napping. But sure, no, we're, we're fine, I guess. A little, a little slow. Probably a little cold. Oh. Oh, dear God. Yes, yes, you frightened even me. My goodness. Weird floaty glowy thing that now turned into this horrifying death knight thing. Hi. Yeah. Uh, you can thank the priestess for my incorporeal form. Uh, do you remember what fate befell this land? No. So you've lost your memories as well. Hell, let us be rid of this place for now. It may be best for you to see the state of things outside for yourself. Girl, I mean, do you... It doesn't really seem like the best idea. Uh, get that thing away from me. Eh. Eh. That seemed like really the best plan to, like, follow some dark-clad night guy. And Oh, there is a secret here. Cool. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Okay, different. Not what I was expecting. We can read this. All right. Bindings, statue, inscription. Statu uh, stone statues in the likeness of the white priestesses. Inscription below the intact statue reads, Priestess of the Dawn. While the ruined statue seems to have been one of the priestesses of the wind. Okay. Okay, so there was a ruined and a non-ruined. Got it. It's locked. Can we, can we smack it with our... So what does she do? She just cowers. Okay. That's kind of funny. Looks like we have a, a few different options available. Oh. I can just spam heal myself, apparently. Do, 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 do. She's, she's not Mario. There was no broken blocks. I, she might have concussed herself a little bit, though. Jump. Yeah. Wait, what? Dang, she got some upper body strength. I couldn't do that. Not in a million. Uh, no, not in a million years. Not not from a full sitting position. That that doesn't even look like a really like. Maybe with a bar up there, I might be able to do it. May, even then, I doubt it. Attack! Don't do not be afraid. Wield my power as your own. You'd seem more than capable. Or you can just walk in front of me and kill stuff. Why do I have to wield your power? I don't want to murder these things. But, I mean, I will. I mean, they are there, and I do like getting showered in blood, so, you know, there's that. And he's like, shut up, girl. We're sending the blood away from you. Really, really cool artwork. Very, like, I, I really like the visual represent, or, uh, sorry, presentation of the game. Uh, I like the little, little floaty Navi 
hey, listen, you know, character there that actually does stuff. I think that's quite cool. Uh, the game seems to play very well so far. So I'm, I'm very curious to see uh, how it goes as we go a little bit further in. There's a burn uh, torch that's not lit over there. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, uh, that was scary. Okay. Did not fully expect it to jump on me. Is there a reason to do that or just fun? Okay, there's a tell right before they attack. That's good to know. Eh, I'm not really sure. Oh, R2 is dodge, huh? Ah! Okay, cool, cool. I got it. Yeah, we know all about that aerial attack. We've been doing it for a while. I did fail my jump there. Oh. We don't even really dodge roll. We just dive onto our, our belly <laughs> and stand back up. It's kind of funny. I, li I like it. Very interesting premise for the games. A little girl with a... Oh, gee. With a knight coming to... You know, like a weird ethereal knight coming to fight for her. It's, uh, it's different. It's not bad, just different. <laughs> Alright, what's this? Pray. Or read. Let's read first, then we'll pray. Uh, I am not gonna be able to say that. It's too many too many vowels, my brain's breaking. Alini is the letter, I guess. Aline's letter. It could be Eileen, but I think it's like Alini. Eliani. It's a letter. Dear Sigrid. I want you to deliver the amulet onto that white priestess. It's a necklace I bestow upon all priestesses, but I've imbued it with a blessing. I'm certain the ward will protect her from the threat of the blighted. Wards can be broken and restored, but that is something only a priestess can manage. I count on you to see this through. Yours? <laughs> Uh, I didn't need to pray. I mean, I'll pray again. Alright, it looks like our little teardrop in the top left is slowly filling up with blood, which is very concerning. But also probably like some sort of level progression. Oh, oh dear God, what? Press the share to open the main menu where you can access all manner of information. Very cool. Chapter 1 shows our playtime. Lily's status. She's Lily, apparently. Makes sense. Uh, Ender Lily's uh, Quietus of the Nights. Makes sense. Uh, level 1 out of 100. Apparently 100 is your max. Uh, we got 49 out of 140 Blight. Not sure that's probably the, the, the blood stuff in there. Our attack is 50. Our prayer potency is 70. We have 3 prayers to go. 100 HP. We've got no Stagnant, Furious, or Ancient Blight, Blight, or Souls. Okay. We have the Umbral Knight unleashes a, a flurry of sword attacks. Attack direction can be changed during the advance by moving left or right, or right or left. A black garbed knight awakened from a deep slumber. Though not but a blighted spirit, they still retain some semblance of who they once were. Interesting. Relics, collections. Oh, we got actions here. Prayer, ground, ground. Uh, Lily evades with a great deal of effort. Allows her to briefly avoid contact with enemies and their attacks. It is great effort. Uh, on a water surface, is a dreadful swimmer and cannot hold her breath for long. She can paddle across the surface, but cannot dive under blighted water. Okay, and spirits. R1, call forth spirits within. Using the power of the priestess drawn out by the Umbral Knight. Up to six spirits can be called upon in combat. That's fascinating. That's That's basically just switching between... Okay, that makes sense. I want to break that one. Can I step on these? Oh. Huh. Huh. Oh. An amulet fragment. 
Uh, oh, max HP plus five. Part of an amulet worn by a white priestess. The tiny shattered fragment still glows with a faint light. So does that mean we now have 105 HP? It does. Okay, letter and then the map. Very cool. All right, big guy. There is a, a little bit of a locked into the animation when you're attacking, so you can dodge between. You can dodge like after the swing hits, you can dodge, or you can dodge between swings, but you cannot dodge while swinging. So it's it's a small window where you can't dodge, but there, it is there. So just so you guys are aware of it. Okay, can I get on this? No. How fair you? Uh, respites act as checkpoints. Resting will restore HP along with spirit and prayer uses. Resting will call forth all defeated blight to walk the land once more. Hmm. Wonder where they got that idea from. Hey, you know what? It's fine, and I and I I don't mind it. I'm just teasing. Uh, findings on the blighted one. As the mind, body, and soul of those afflicted with the blight is consumed, rot spreads throughout. This rot possesses superb regenerative, regenerative properties, granting undying flesh. The link between mind and body is cut in time, and the host is driven purely by the wrath of the blight. I'm going to see if I can't get those to collide. That is my one true goal right now. Well, they clip through each other. So, I mean, there is that. Oh, we can read. There are blighted whose minds do not fade. This is no saving grace, however, as it is said that they must endure an eternity of pain and suffering. Well, that's, that's fun. The miracle of the White Priestess is the only true salvation for those who come to be cursed with the Blight. You guys seem like they have had bad days. Alright. Oh, well you, you an angry, angry thing. You're not a very alive angry thing, but you an angry thing. I mean, you guys telegraphing the moves, I'm just saying. A little bit of the water on the... That's, that's cool, look at that effect, that's awesome, I love it. Game looks great, by the by. It really does. It looks good, it, it plays very well. You know, I, I'm not being 100% good with my, uh, my checking of all the places and see if there's any, like, uh... Super secret hidden spots. So far we've run into a couple, but I am bound to miss more than I find most likely. What's going on, sword buddy? Oh, that's cool. You just walk over. Okay, that's, that's pretty neat. Just walk over, but I assume there was going to be something over here with that. So you just walk over and she automatically grabs the side. That's that's pretty cool. Oh, I mean, he tried. Don't fall off yet. Okay, now you can fall. All right, we're getting closer and closer to our blight thing in the top left. Uh, getting full. All right, big guy. You just stand there as the as the wall of Damocles. It's a sword of Damocles. I I know. I'm aware. I'm aware. I, I have one of those hanging over me at all times. Trust me. I'm really glad that you didn't have any kind of backswing. That would have hurt. All right. Those dudes just like charges forward and. Rah! I like to hear like a little noise like that. Like sound is everything. This game is so. Oh, it's so good. I really like it. 
like again, it, it's it's got like a more somber, quiet approach. Uh, our character is not some amazing, super awesome person that's going to be able to destroy the planet. It's just some little girl that's been uh, awoken by a knight sent by a priestess, I guess. Like I said, it, it's a def definitely a different thing, if nothing else. Okay, we can't get through there, which means we're going to have to go down. You move the right analog stick down, you can kind of see what's going on. Oh god, that was a big drop. Alright, there's a door over here. There's clearly a path over to the left. Oh, I dodged early. I figured I'd roll through before. Alright, we got hit the first time. That, that is my, my really bad timing there. This way should lead back up. Okay, we don't want to go that way yet. We did pull the lever already, so that's all fine. I, I love that she doesn't have a dodge roll. Again, she just falls on her belly and she's like, ow. Oh. I don't know what you were, but yikes. Oh, we get a little plus five to HP. Very nice. I'm glad I went this way. Oh, we can change the map too. I was looking at the top right corner there. So if we wanted to have a little bit of a bigger view or not no map at all, we could totally do that. If you feel like that takes you out of the uh, little thing. Oh, I didn't even think to drop down here. Oh, see, look at that. They design stuff very, very smartly. Because I'm sure some people drop down. I'm just, I'm not one of those people. Oh, geez, I missed the wrong button. I wasn't sure. I'm like, what button do I dodge with again? I don't remember. I'm sorry, man. I don't remember. Oh, there's our level up. Just perfect. Okay. We're going to learn about that. The Parish Way 1. Carriers of the Rod appeared from the Land of Snow, bringing calamity to Land's End. Said to be the Ancients' Revenge, the Rot drove people to madness and transformed them into monstrosities. Carriers of the Rot came to be known as the Blighted. Okay, nothing else? Alright. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm incredibly worried right now. This feels like Tainted by the Blight, never to die. We call those creatures the Blighted. I feel like this is like a boss room. It is not. It is a resting room. All right. Well, I mean, there's, there's no reason not to rest, I guess. We haven't done this yet, so might as well do it now. Using a respite will restore your status and save the game, which we just did now for the first time. You may now access Blighted Memories. Rewatch any previously viewed cutscenes that you have encountered. Memories. Did we watch the prologue? Was that a thing? I don't think so. Interesting. Huh. And then we saw the opening where she got awoken. All right. Well, that's that's cool. Um, we can't enhance anything, so. Oh, the game looks great. I, like, it really does. Like, I very much like this. Alright, let's make sure I got my, my dodge roll on. Or, sorry. I say dodge roll. Bruh! Bruh! Ah! Let's just... Oh. Oh, this doesn't look good either. Alright. Oh. Uh... The air is thick with the rot of the blight. Take heed. 
Oh no. Does she have a wing? To protect her, I must destroy. Destroy! 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 Crap. Uh. Oh! She swings behind her. Ow. She's been broken in. This is cool. Uh -oh. Ah, I felt good. Wait, she can explode? Just in case. Oh, God, yes. Oh, okay, less cool all of a sudden. Oh, I did not time that right. Didn't time it right again. Got it that time. Oh. Ah. Lily. Huh. Woo! Oh no. All right, I'm sorry about your back, your face, everything. It's all real gross. The potentially one-winged angel is no more. I was supposed to protect you. Yeah, you, you, you didn't. You, you didn't do that thing. So she touched it. I adore the priestess of the fount. She was our only hope against the immortal blighted. With unflinching resolve and a smile on her face, she epitomized radiant tenderness. My sister's letter informed me that the priestess was in poor health. It seemed the burden of her purification rituals was taking its toll. I couldn't rejoice at the peace she brought at the cost of her own well-being. Moreover, I couldn't forgive myself for not being able to protect her as a guardian. No, it was my own sister who was chosen for that role. In my darkest hour, I found solace in Lily, who was much like the priestess herself. Even if I couldn't serve her as a guardian, the least I could do was protect her. But then the rain began to fall. Cries of pain rang out in the distance. The chief guardian called it the Rain of Death. I gave Lily sanctuary and took my weapon in hand. The rain never let up. Well, that sucks. Guardian Sigrid swings an iron ball to attack surrounding enemies. Subskills have a cooldown and a limited number of uses, but can be used in conjunction with other skills. Sigrid guarded the Sept to protect the White Priestess Lily. Never-ending bloodshed caused her to be consumed by madness. While airborne, XX, uh, the blighted wings of Guardian Sigrid grant an extra jump while in midair. Oh, nice. The wings of Guardian Sigrid grant Lily an additional jump. Yep, yep, you know, you said that. I, I got it. Appreciate you. The soul has been purified, no longer imprisoned by blight. Within that memory just now, the woman called you Lily. Surely that is your name. If you retrace the memories of the blighted in life, you may just remember something yourself. All right, I have the tiniest of pet peeves. I'll talk about it in a second here. It may prove difficult, but can you carry on? Okay, smallest of pet peeves. Does not matter at all. Just one of those things that would uh, be very nice to see. And that is here. Uh, before we get to this point where we defeated Sigrid, 
it should not say Lily's status. It should say question mark, question mark, question mark, or just status or something. Because we don't know that we're Lily. I mean, we could we could assume it's called, you know, Ender Lilies. Like, I get it. I get it. But, again, this was a big reveal that our name is Lily. And it tells us that basically right here on the screen. Again, just a tiny, tiny, small, small, small little baby pet peeve that does not matter in the least. But just for continuity's sake, I, I would change that personally. Because it just, you know, it makes more sense. The, the big reveal that she figures out what her name is i guess it doesn't really matter again she's not gonna be like oh let me look at my status page herself right it's more for her benefit than ours and you know the storyline benefit and everything else like i get it but still just again for me i like stuff like that being a little bit more there uh the soiled uh prayer beads okay Slightly increases maximum HP. A rosary worn by the White Priestess's guardian. Extensive training took place underground until someone was chosen to be her protector. Do we have to equip that, or...? Uh, sorry. Uh, it's a relic, right? Yeah, it is a relic. Okay. Let me change that the rest, but alright. Well, we're heading there anyway. Whee! Oh, I love the double jump. Ah, this game's great. Again, that is probably the reason that I'm like, smallest of things, make this better, or, or fix this. Again, it doesn't matter. Just my, my two cents. You process, sorry, you possess blighted spirits within skills. Or, I can read sometimes, folks. I, I'm tired. I'm sorry. You possess blighted spirits with skills at your disposal. Spirits can be equipped at respites. You have a relic in your possession, and they also can be equipped at respites. You may now access... Purified memories, uh, refight any previously purified bosses whose memories you have viewed. Oh. That's cool. So we have Sigrid's memories there, and then we have purified memories here. What was the purified memory? Just curious. I just want to look real quick. Oh, no. I don't know if that was like the, the the refighting of the boss or what. I think it was. That's not what I wanted to do. I was like, ah, whoopsie. Okay, so this has a 13 uses. Secret guard never Yeah, cool, 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 cool. And relics. That slightly increases the maximum HP. We're at what? Uh, 110, I think is where we were. Let's see where that puts us now. Uh, 115. So it gave us a little bit like a 5 HP boost. And then this is a triangle for the extra skill. Oh, we okay, and then we can move within it, and it's also got a cooldown. Now, can we swing that and still attack with the other one? We cannot. Oh, no, we can. I, I, it's hard to notice. But we totally can. Oh, that's cool. That might actually be just like a tremendous amount of damage. We get a boss knocked down. We can plot both of them there. I think that's a pretty good plan in general. I like that the spirits do show up here. So we have our one-winged angel, our guardian, if you will. And yeah, very cool. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to break off the episode right here. Hopefully, hopefully everything is good. And hopefully you guys enjoyed. I absolutely love this game. This is fantastic. And I'm looking forward to playing more. Hopefully it doesn't get too difficult, or at least my skills hold up if it does, and I'm able to overcome stuff. There's been a few games that I've played that are at least similar to this in some ways that really, really made me struggle, and I think even one that, one or two that dead stopped me, so we'll, we'll see. Either way, folks, the game, it was once again, is called Ender Lily's Quietus of the Nights, and it came out on June 21st, 2021. If you guys want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, or publisher, any of that stuff, down below in the description of the video, there'll be various links. Big shout out and a thank you once again to the developers for hooking me up with the code for this. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys and gals. Like, subscribe, share, do the stuff, guys and gals. Until the very next one, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.